Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pen Withers. Thought I'd do a little how to video. Um, made up uh, this uh, gate and all this fencing up through. Another gate there. Bit of fence going up over the hill. Fence around the top. Coming back down through, down over the slope, and there along the railway lines. Um, quite cheap and easy to do. Um, what we uh, want to show you what we actually do. Here's a little um, piece that I've done just to give you an idea. Basically, just drill um, half mil diameter holes through a matchstick, and obviously then thread some wire through. So we use um, florist's wire, and that roll there, I don't think is like a third of the way through. And I've done all that that you can see up through there, both sides, up through, around there, around the track there. And then over this side, I've done all the way. Right the way along to there. Put the little braces in to steady it up a bit. A little bit time consuming, but uh, quite good fun. So basically what I did had a length of timber, focus in a minute, and I drilled holes, uh, I think there was about 3 mil diameter holes every 25 mil apart, and then obviously uh, I used that as a drilling template, so I just literally dropped that on the layout, drilled down through, and then obviously the matchsticks, push they down into the holes, and the Holes are about eight mil apart, and it represents like a just over about a meter high fence with the post space at two meter intervals. Uh, if you do a jig like that with all the holes in, it's quite easy. I had like a big bag of matches, but I found a lot of the ends would split when he was drilling, so I went to Swan Vesta matches, and I think it was like thirty five p a box and. The section this size has just taken just over a box of matches, box and a half perhaps. Um, the gate, I made a little jig up just here. It's not overly clear, but obviously just had electrical wire. Um, cut some slots in the timber just to rest the wire in and made a jig up for soldering the gates up. Quite... Uh, Quite cheap gates, quite good fun to make. And then something else I've tried. Obviously I painted the posts with uh, some rail match paint. And then I like done a little bit of rust effect. Just here, there. A little bit of light colour, dark colour. Let some of the silver shine through. and. Obviously with the video, I, I wouldn't say it's brilliant, doesn't give the whole effect, but looks quite good. And then add a bit of rail scenics, uh, or woodland scenics, foliage, um, which I th think is a little bit like the hecky floor, but I don't know if it doesn't look as good, but just put a little bit of that up over. Which, rather than just being able to see right through it, here's one without anything on it yet. And obviously, there's one with it. A few little tufts there. A bit of 12mm static grass, just dabs the ends over with some paint. And that's the colours I used on the, uh, every two here, on the wires. It's typical, don't want to focus. So we had uh, 
light rust, brake dust, and I used the uh, frame dirt for the posts. So, all in all, I think uh, I think you can buy the I think the wheels kits are about four four pound five pound for enough to do about a meter. Um, I think that cost. It's cost me a fair bit of time. I wouldn't say it's a quick, quick job, but uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, tell us your thoughts. Um, hopefully, it's been helpful. Obviously, comments appreciated. As I say, bye for now.